you have a question that Google just hasn't been able to answer for you, or maybe it's something that you've just always kind of wondered about a neighborhood or an area or just the real estate process in general. Well, here's your chance. Ask your question. The easiest way to get your questions answered is to book a chat. And there's a link in the description down below. I promise I'm super friendly. I am not going to use any sort of uh, salesperson judo on you to try to get you to do an immediate purchase or sale. And primarily, I look just to share knowledge of value. And usually that will eventually shift into, you know, us working together. But it really all starts with, you know, you asking questions and me answering uh, the questions for you, giving you all of the information that you need and the context. One thing I will say is I don't just give you the sugar-coated part. I know that realtors, we have a reputation for being overly optimistic about everything. You know, you walk in, there's a huge hole in the floor, and, you know, the realtor says, oh, this room has great ventilation. <laughs> um, I don't go that way. So that's not me. Now, uh, I would probably make a joke about it, but whenever I'm answering questions or providing expertise, providing a perspective, there's rarely like a true black and white good bad. It's usually a question of what is the best decision for you? And to be able to make that decision effectively, you need all the information. And in almost every case, there are pros and cons to every question, every situation. So for example, you know, a typical question is, is like, how small of a down payment can I get away with? And most people will answer that typically three and a half percent is the lowest down payment that you can, uh, you know, finance a house easily for um, loans definitely go down to, you know, 1% and 0%, but those are usually kind of special case things. The way I explain it is typically three and a half percent is the lowest down payment that you can go. And that's going to be true for FHA loans, which is the ones everyone usually thinks about, but conventional loans also go down to 3%. However, there is a trade-off. Whenever you go that low with your down payment, other parts of the mortgage shift. So whenever you have that low of a down payment, you have additional fees so far as title insurance goes. And also your interest rate tends to be a little higher uh, just because it is a slightly higher risk loan than a 15 or 20% down loan. The true answer to your question is what's the lowest typical percentage for a down payment? Three and a half percent. But most people appreciate <laughs> that additional context so they can know where they need to slide that lever on the home buying process. On the flip side, most people think the 20% down is kind of like, you know, the typical thing to do. The additional context to that is if you put down more than 20%, the interest rate tends to decline. It tends to go below a 20% down payment rate. Uh, sometimes significantly, sometimes not as significantly, but that's the general trend. And if you have the cash, that perspective helps to give you Again, an additional slider to play with to fine tune your home purchase. I know this video is a little lengthy for a, you know, please book a chat, but I wanted to show you the benefit of having conversations and having someone that has a broad expertise and is willing to share that with you. So again, you can book that chat at the link down below. Also feel free just to call me or text me. So, and again, I promise I'm not high pressure sales or anything like that. It's simple conversation, answering questions. And, uh, you know, just giving you the knowledge that you need so that you can make your uh, best home buying decision for yourself. Thanks again for, for watching this. My name is Kyle Sasser, and I'll talk to you soon.